Okay, so let's start with recapping what we've learned so far with um, sine theta. If we have an equation like sine theta equals k, to find the principal value, we can put that into a calculator and do the inverse sine of k, and that will get our principal value theta one. Uh, to generate the second value, we do one eighty take away theta one, and we then add the subtract three multiples of three sixty to f to theta one theta two to generate more values. Um, why do we do 180? Well, if we go back to the sine curve, and we can see, say, that's 360, that's 180. We know if one of our solutions lies here, say, let's call that theta 1, then the other solution by symmetry is theta 2, and that's why we do 180. Now, with the cos theta, it works in the same way. We have cos theta equals k. Uh, to find the principal value, uh, we plug that into a calculator. And this time we do 360 as opposed to 180. That gives us our second value. Um, again, if we go back to the curve of um, uh, cos theta, and that's 360, we know if one of the values, say, lies, say that was theta 1, then theta 2 by symmetry will be here, and, that, and since that's 360, we subtract theta 1 from it. And again, we add or subtract multiples of 360 to generate further values. With tan theta it works in the same way. Um, similarly we also have theta 1 which we can then substitute into a calculator and um, generate a principal value and then to generate a further values we just add or subtract multiples of 180 and if we go back to the shape of the curve we can see how um, that works as well and how we get further values um, through adding or subtracting 180. Okay, so I'm going to run through a few examples and then give you two exercises to do. Uh, the first example that I'm going to run through is uh, one where you've got tan squared theta minus tan theta equals 2. And the interval that we want is between 0 and 360. Right, we can start off by um, bringing everything over to one side. So we've got tan squared theta minus tan theta take away 2 equals 0. If you want, and to make it less daunting, you can say let tan theta equals x, and then we can rewrite our top equation as x squared minus x take away 2 equals 0. We can now factorize this, and so we're looking at factors of minus 2 which add up to give us minus 1. So we've got x minus 2, x plus 1 equals 0. This will then lead to two solutions. We have x equals 2 or x equals 1. If we go back to tan theta, since x equals tan theta, we can say tan theta equals 2 or tan theta equals 1. So that's minus 1. Right, so with the tan theta equals 2, um, if we put that into our calculator, our principal value should give us 63.4. We can then add 180 to it, and we should get um, 243.4. With tan theta equals minus 1, our theta equals minus 45. Um, that's what we get in the calculator, but we also know that minus 45 is outside our range. And so we can add 180 to this and that will give us our third value which would give us 135 and we can generate another value by adding 180 to this with theta 3 and that should give us 315 so therefore our theta equals um, 63.4 or 135 243.4 and finally 315 Right, it may be worth illustrating our results on, on the graph. So we know when tan theta equals 2, we got 63.4, and then we added another 180 to it. That gave us theta 2, theta 1, and then 63.4, that gave us 243.4. Um, and then anything above that, another 180 would be outside our range. 
when tan theta was minus 1, we got minus 45, which is here. We added 180, and we got our theta 3. We added another 180, and we got theta 4. Right, the second example that I'd like to do is one in which we have sine squared theta and a cos theta. And what we want to do immediately is to bring everything down to either sines or cos. So we know there's two identities we know. We know that sine theta over cos theta equals tan theta. But we also know sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. I can therefore rearrange this, so instead of writing 2 sine squared theta, I can write 2, 1 minus cos squared theta, and that's from this identity here, equals cos theta plus 1. If we expand this out and bring everything over to one side, you may want to pause the video now and try that yourself. Um, we will have uh, 2 minus 2 cos squared theta equals cos theta plus 1 and if we bring everything over to one side we can have 0 equals 2 cos squared theta plus cos theta minus 1 now at this stage we can say um, let x equals cos theta if you want and so you get 2x squared plus x minus 1 which can then factorise into 2x minus 1 and x plus 1. This will then give us two solutions where x equals a half or x equals minus 1. For x equals a half, we have tan theta, sorry, my mistake, we have cos theta. cos theta equals a half and um, for x equals minus 1 we therefore have cos theta equals minus 1 um, for the cos theta equals half if we then found our principal value using the calculator or if we know the exact values we know theta equals 60 degrees or 360 take away 60 will give us 300 degrees for the theta minus 1, we simply know that theta will give us 180 degrees. So we've, we've, we've got th um, three solutions. We've got theta equals 60, 180, or 300 degrees. So we may want to visualize the results on a graph to, uh, to make things a bit more clearer maybe. We know cos theta is a half, cos theta is minus 1. For a half, our principal value theta 1 was 60 and then to find the other value we do 360 take away 60 and that gives us theta 2 for minus 1 we get 180 degrees and so therefore that's theta 3